hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my match preview for the community shield 2023 at wembley stadium it's gonna be on sunday august the 6th so be there because we're gonna be there for the watch along calling show always the link is provided for free everybody can call before the game during the game and after the game what a game that is going to be manchester city and arsenal that is gonna take a psychological turn if you win that game it's a trophy you don't win it you're gonna sabotage the trophy but we're gonna be there because it's gonna be a very good show don't forget to like subscribe and share please help the channel get minimum 500 likes for this video god bless you and thank you so much let's go all right so let me remind you that uh, the premier league season 2023 2024 is almost here in less than a week it's gonna be on friday burnley against manchester city but we have time to talk about it the community shield kind of announced the premier league so it's exciting to see that we have the community shield already and uh, we we are ready for a long long journey in the premier league everybody got zero at the moment no advantage to anybody so let's wait and see what's gonna happen from there we have now to move on and talk about the game between arsenal and Manchester City the community shield to understand a little bit how the both both teams been doing we have to compare the most recent results between the two teams so we're gonna call it head to head so head to head between Arsenal and Manchester City as you can tell August 2021 Manchester City 5 Arsenal 0. Sunday, the 1st of January 2022, Arsenal 1, Manchester City 2. So Arsenal lost at home at the Emirates Stadium. Now, January 2023, Etihad Stadium, Manchester City 1, Arsenal 0. And then, February 2023, Arsenal 1, Manchester City 3. And if you we advance for the last game that they played against each other, it was April the 26th, 2023 at the Etihad Stadium. And we know what happened. 4-1 for Manchester City. So as you can tell, City always win. All right, my people. So we're going to focus on the last game that they played in the Premier League. That was uh, last April, the 26th, 2023. Just to check on some details. What really happened during that game manchester city completely destroyed arsenal everybody expected arsenal to go there do the job and try to win the league but <laughs> you can't really say that when it comes to manchester city kevin de Bruyne scored a couple goals that day john stones with, with a goal and erling Haaland 90 minute plus five and for arsenal Rob Holding scored a goal in the 86th minute. This is where Arsenal pretty much accepted that they were not going to win the league because they were so, so close. So close to winning it. But no, if you don't beat Manchester City, you can't really win the league. The lineup from that day, just to show you that uh, both teams made a lot of changes this time. Mares, Gundogan, they are fighting to keep Bernardo Silva 
Arsenal still almost the same team though. They just added more quality in the team. So it's going to be very interesting to see who is going to win this game. Matt Tuna is leaving, going to Nottingham Forest. But other than that, they're going to reinforce the team. You know, with David De Raya, they already have Declan Rice. And they have uh, Timber and Kai Harvard. So Arsenal got stronger while Manchester City, we don't know yet. It looks like they've been partying a little bit too much. They had two extra weeks vacation. I don't think they have the same motivation to to kind of uh, go for it right now. I don't know. I have that horrible feeling that they're still on vacation. And how can you motivate them after, after a period like that, after winning a treble, you know? They are very close teams, even in terms of possession. You see that it's almost equal. But at the end of the day, Pep Guardiola is a genius and he always knows a way to beat uh, teams. But this time around, I have a hard time, to be honest with you, to believe that uh, Manchester City are going to win and beat Arsenal. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think that Manchester City are going to win or Arsenal are going to win. My position on this one is very controversial because I think Arsenal got more man power to beat Manchester City this time around. And it's going to be an advantage for them because that is mental. So I think Arsenal are going to win this game 2-1 at the end. This kind of trophies, if you win it, it's a trophy. You don't win it. You're going to say it's a glorified, friendly. It doesn't count. But I'm telling you what. This is a trophy in my opinion. And I don't, su I don't support any team here. But it's a trophy. It's an official trophy to kick off the season. You know, to have a good mentality for the rest of the season. You need to win this trophy. So 2-1 to Arsenal. You let me know. What do you think about this game? What is your score prediction? And let's keep the conversation going.